Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, where we do have some really big, really significant topics to discuss that could genuinely shape the future of this club. And that is no exaggeration. We're going to be discussing the big reports surrounding Barca and Nike and exactly what this could mean for the club, along with an update from our least favourite president, Javier Tebas, ahead of the summer transfer window, which actually may go a long way to explaining why the club do have to make some rather drastic decisions now. It is all coming up. So let's do this. Because indeed, guys, over the past few months or so, there have been lots of rumours swirling around regarding Barca's potential kit supplier, whether we could be about to change from Nike. Because we've heard, actually, Puma mentioned quite frequently, who are reportedly willing there to offer significantly more than what Nike are currently paying Barca. But... What is going to happen there? Because Laporta has spoken very publicly about the fact that Barca's deal with Nike, in his opinion, does not match up with the current market. He feels almost hard done by there in the current agreement because it's even more relevant when it comes to Barca there, who often lead the footballing world when it comes to shirt sales. And there have also been concerns from Barca regarding quality issues at Nike and also their services to players at the club. Now, Barca, as we know, have been working very closely with Nike since 1998. That is 26 years there of this incredible partnership that has become very, very iconic across so, so many years. And it seems as though right now Barca kind of expected that given that long relationship they've had with Nike, that they may have been a bit more supportive, especially given the current situation at Barca, the need there to absolutely maximise all revenue streams. And they felt as though Nike may be willing Willing to raise their offer to continue working together. But Nike's point of view will probably be that they did sign a contract back in 2016 right up until 2028 and they're really not willing to match offers coming in from elsewhere. They're not willing to really ramp up their offer even when that time comes. So right now everything at some point points to Barca and Nike ending their agreement which then brings us on to that big big report from Sport last night who now claim that Barca may be about to terminate their deal with Nike. They may be ready to cut short that deal that runs until 2028, and there's no word as of yet on exactly what the cost of that termination or how it would be done, but sports say that Barca want to terminate that deal in order to create its own brand. Barca want to manufacture and create their own kits, which would effectively mean there that the club will sponsor itself and as a result will keep 100% of the profits from any kit sales. Because remember, Nike pay Barca a set fee there per season. There might be a few bonuses in there, but it's mainly a set figure every single year. And it's no matter how many shirts you sell. So if Barca have incredible shirt sales, if they bring in players there that really attract a lot of attention and fans everywhere around the world are buying them, Barca, in essence... They don't actually gain anything. They don't actually gain anything more than they would have done anyway. And it's actually Nike that really reap the rewards from those incredible kit sales at Barca. And that is why right now, Barca apparently are strongly considering going off on their own, creating their own path here, creating their own jerseys. And they would be 100% in control of everything, which has big benefits. But also, guys, we have to say... There are risks too. Because let's be clear here, becoming your own kit supplier, becoming your own manufacturer of the kits, it's not easy. There is a reason why nobody in football right now is doing this. Because companies like Nike, for instance, they've got an incredible supply chain. They have the best contacts out there. They have the best experience in the market. And of course, all of that experience comes at a price to the clubs. But there's a reason why it's easier, basically, to get in the professionals. And that is why, for me, this decision here that Barca are apparently considering, surely it needed a lot of consideration. It would need so much planning behind the scenes to actually put this into effect. And it's not just something he 
area that you can jump into and hope for the best, hope it works out. This is a massive, massive call because if you can get this kind of method right, I mean, the potential rewards, they are huge right now, especially in Barca's current situation. If we were able to gain more revenue coming in, effectively cutting out there the middleman, that could really change the game. And not even just for Barca, because think about it right now, if Barca were able to make this work, were able to find success with it, you could absolutely bet that other high-profile clubs out there, they would start to follow suit and try and apply it to what they were doing too. But of course, guys, the risks are there with this. Because further down the line, for instance, if it's not working out, if Barca really were not able to make this work, there could be problems with the kits itself, with the quality, with the distribution, all of that kind of stuff. Yes, of course, then you could go and negotiate with a new kit supplier. You could go to Puma and say, okay, we would like to work together, but then you wouldn't get the same offer as you would now. They would know that we were more desperate and the club may have lost a lot of money in that time, pumping it into becoming our own supplier. So in your opinion, guys, what would you do right now if you were Barca? You've got the contract there with Nike that doesn't really match up to the current market. You've got a big offer coming in from Puma or... Would you go for it? Would you really there take on the risks, take on the pressures of becoming our own manufacturer? Can it work? And is that a route that we should go down? Because here's the thing right now, guys, and this is the problem that Barca are currently facing. We are still in a tricky situation with La Liga's fair play. Because I want to talk now, and I don't want to, as always, but we have to talk about Javier Tebas, who inevitably has been doing some talking over the past few days. When he's not talking about Mbappe, when he's not getting excited about the signing of Mbappe for Real Madrid, his next favourite topic is talking about Barca's situation and talking about what we need to do to get in line with his imaginary fair play rules. Because Tebas says right now that Barca have options that their leaders can take this summer in order to get them solutions. He said they have two or three top level players who can be sold. And he said with this, they would solve a large part of the problem. And with that, they can generate income and then they can sign players. So according to Tebas, Barca, all they've got to do is sell two or three of our best players and then we can sign players we'll be allowed to sign them and then everything will be solved until the next summer because how many more times are we going to hear here the Barca need to sell need to cut some high profile names need to cut the wages and then a few months down the line just when you think everything had somehow been improved we're back to square one again. When is it going to end? When are we going to make actual progress here towards La Liga's FFP rules? And why does it seem as though they won't let us free? No matter what we do, no matter who we sell, no matter who we cut from the wage bill, we end up in this same situation time and time and time again. It's ridiculous because let me just ask you now, could you ever imagine the head of the Premier League, which most of us, by the way, have no idea what they're even called. Why is that? Because they don't speak out all the time. Because they don't make themselves the centre of the show. Could you imagine the head of the Premier League saying ahead of the summer, oh, it would be great if Liverpool, for instance, sold two or three of their best players. That's what we want as a league. We want you to sell your best players players to meet our restrictions. It is absolutely nonsensical right now what this league continues to do and of course Tebas because we are already now hearing reports this morning from multiple sources there in the Catalan media that effectively Barca are in trouble because nobody wants to leave ahead of the summer. Christensen came out this morning said look I'm happy here I don't want to leave. Frankie de Jong we know that he doesn't want to go. Araujo as well have all confirmed they want to stay at the club and sports say as well players there like Rafinha could be a high-profile departure. He wants to stay on his current contract. He does not want to leave Barca. And it's the same situation as usual. The players are there. The options are there. Tepas says we can sell two or three players. But players at Barca, high-profile ones, either we don't want them to go... All the ones that we're happy to let go, they don't want to leave the club. So that is the big, big problem that we have right now. And it seems very, very likely that this summer, apparently, 
Barca will not return to the one-for-one one rule in La Liga, which, as we know from our painful experience with this league, it makes your life incredibly difficult. If you are not on that one-for-one one rule, signing players is so, so tricky. And even then, when you sell players, you can't use all of the funds that you've managed to generate. So it actually hurts you both ways. If you sell, you can't use the full amount. And if you buy, you are really, really stretched on the FFP side. And it's just such a shame. It really is such a shame that every single summer we come into it talking about the same things, talking about this same president, this same league who are restricting Barca to the maximum. And that is why we're looking at this kit situation right now. And Barca may be thinking, OK, we've got to do something radical. We've got to do something drastic here to try and generate more revenue, to try and generate more income here, to help us with FFP in La Liga. But it's just a shame that we're having to make high risk decisions and decisions really that maybe we wouldn't do if we were not absolutely pressured by our own league. It's a joke, guys. And I would just like to hear from you in the comments down below today what you make here of Javier Tebas's words, you know, coming out there, telling us that we've got to sell players, the situation again that Barca find themselves in, and again, your thoughts on what Barca should do with the kit situation at the club. I'll be waiting to hear all of your thoughts. Thank you indeed for tuning in today, for getting involved with all of the videos. Your support is massive, and we will keep going no matter what what. I will catch you soon, but until next time, as always, Vishka, Elbasa. 